when you think about connecting energy storage to grids, how do you think about that problem? Solving the green transition is uh, super complicated. Our platform, you need multi-market optimization. You have 15 gate closures spread over 48 hours before delivery hour, while you need to do live state of charge man management with live market signals, and you need to have your platform uh, operating with a response time of around 100 milliseconds. That is super complicated. But still, the key challenge for integrating energy storage is paperwork and the waiting time between the paperwork. That is site lease agreement. You need grid connection agreements with sometimes one to three years waiting time. You need building permits, usually six months, but sometimes two years waiting time to get a building permit. You need land zone permit usually six months waiting time there. Then you need fire approval permit, approximately three months waiting time, but you need to educate every single local fire department on battery safety as well. Then you need grid connection approval for technical requirements. And depending on the DSO, you need to educate the DSO on the technical requirements. And usually that also take approximately one to six months waiting time, depending on their experience. And then you need market pre-qualification for every single and serious service. And that could take all the way the fastest we have seen is one day. Sometimes it's several months waiting time on that. And that is, as I see it, make both the, the green transition costly, but also slow its time.